What's good, y'all? Today we playing Walking Dead again, and we on episode three. All right, I know it's been a long time since I played this game. I know it's been a long time, but we back. Don't worry about don't worry about the past. We back. Another thing, I messed up big time on this game. I um, so I was playing on a different Steam account. I thought that my game progress got deleted but it didn't so i was like damn i gotta record this all over again i gotta play all, all over again and i was playing and i was making decisions i was making the right decisions rather than making them dumb decisions in the beginning that i did in previous episodes so now i'm just like damn i messed up bad i had people looking at me crazy i got people killed that i shouldn't never that shouldn't even be dead right now. I probably wouldn't even be with this group. I probably wouldn't even be with this group right now if I made the decisions that I did in the um, beginning of the new gameplay that I did. We not, but we just forget that new gameplay because that's not even getting shown. I recorded that and deleted it. But uh, yeah, I was making bad decisions in the uh, in the other episodes, so. All we can do is keep moving forward. All right, that's all. That's all you can do in life. You mess up, you gotta just keep moving forward and just be better. Just make better decisions. But uh, yeah, man, I'm back. Um, Stepdad of the year is back. You know, I got my daughter Clementine, who is now my daughter. For right now, it's my daughter. I'm taking care of her. I'm Lee, Lee Nar. I'm back. And yeah. So far, if y'all didn't know what's going on, from what I can remember. I saved, I saved uh, Clary or Carly at the end. I don't even know why I saved her. But the other dude wasn't any good either. He wasn't any good for the team. He was smart, though. He was a little smart. Yeah, man, I'm rambling right now. If y'all want to see what happened in previous episodes, I'm going to probably just uh, clip it together or y'all can just go ahead and look for yourselves. I'm just, let me stop talking. I know who you are. They found out oh, I who I was. Good one for I could have, I could have stopped them from happening. I could have stopped them from happening. It was an option. It was like, yo, watch out. He could have swerved out the way. You've been all by yourself through this. Yeah. That's still a good I dad, regardless. My parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. Doug and Carly. We'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> That stupid kid, man. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh, my God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter, daughter the little girl you've got daddy. with you, you watch your ass. You're gonna have to watch his ass. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to I don't even know what, what that last word was because it went by too quickly. Like every decision in this game goes by too quickly. Only get five seconds to decide. Alright, let's go, man. Enough complaining. Let's move, let's move forward. Let's beat this game. Let's get on with it. Let's go, Lee. Let's get it. Lee Nar. Let's get it, man. Three months later. The hell is that? A zombie? Did I sneak up on a zombie? Boom! Who the fuck is this? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up. Let me go look at my, my previous game, all right? Because who the fuck is that? Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Well, that's another meal lost. 
I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's gotta miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, knock me flat. Hmm. Hit that nigga, man. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Yeah, do you want to eat a, eat a bird? You're not eating that little bird. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that what guys why the fuck is there a bear trap out here i don't know man it's okay we're not gonna hurt you don't listen to them ben please just let us go we're not a threat to you kid chill out we'll try to help you but you gotta shut the fuck up hey this is fucked up we've gotta help please ben shut up my dad was special forces i know what i'm doing just see don't if do you no can get out yeah don't do nothing stupid us or whatever i don't care Please! Hurry, please, hurry! Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Oh Shit. my gosh. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Damn, this is bad. You're gonna have to cut his leg off. Oh, Just get me out, please. please do something. Blood and screaming. We're gonna be surrounded any minute. Oh, please. Get me out of this. You have to get it. Try to get the chain. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no. Let's try go. the trap again. I think I'm in. Please. Stop! 
No, I don't think I made the wrong decision. I made, I made the wrong decision. 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 I made the wrong. I made. Just cut off his fucking leg. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. Look up. Shit. Is he? He passed out. Come on, we gotta move! Ah! Run! I hate these characters in this game. I hate these characters. I hate these characters in this game. No! You like Are you stupid? I don't get you run faster than these zombies man you could have got away you dumbass man clementine 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 i hate yo his name is duck i hate that dude right there That man leg off, man. Yo, Clementine, you gotta stop. You gotta chill out. You gotta chill out. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh my on! God. What happened? Oh, what's going on? We have time to explain. Me? Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Jesus Christ. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Come Just on. come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Just like hey, her damn dad. I didn't ask Just like her damn group. dad. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Yo, I don't see any quick. of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. 
there's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Bro, this this is stressing me out right now. I'm not gonna lie. Now Kenny mad at me. Kenny's mad at me now. I'm trying to have everybody kumbaya. Kum you know what I'm saying? Everybody one big happy family, man. I'm not trying to pick sides and have everybody fighting. Now everybody mad at me. Now I'm, now I'm the blame. Now I'm the blame. <laughs> Fuck it. I, I hate people, bro. Is he going to be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Blade, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Whew. Get him drawn over here. Look at Clementine drawing that, drawing that cat. How you doing, Clementine? How you doing? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well... I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. Now we got a, we got a stupid. <sighs> I wish I could stop thinking about it. <sighs> so who are you people? Our group's going to want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man ben you Paul? saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. The band director. came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything The happened. band director. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Fucking band director. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh. That can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. I'm trying, Carly. I'm trying. I'm trying. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Back in a bit. Now, who do I give food to? Who do I, who do I give food to? Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. You know, going towards 
I don't know what is a good idea. I'm not gonna lie, the, the zombie apocalypse. That's your best bet right there. But you know, I try to try my best. You know, I'll try my best to keep him over here. He's not gonna work. He ain't gonna work. He's not gonna listen. Now, you're definitely not getting no food. Clementine, I'm giving you some food because you know you're my daughter. Um so yeah, we got over here. Let's inside this bookcase. It's dirty, but it's not gonna hold up forever. Just like the rest of this place. I'm not gonna hold up. Let's go leave man up, man up. Let's go. Let's go see what he's talking about. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <sighs> You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Give it to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No. no Come no. on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. <laughs> Yo, I'm tired. I'm tired, bro. I'm tired of this. I am, li I am tired of this, bro. I'm tired of this. I don't know. Tired, bro. I'm tired, man. And I need to find food. How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Catch you later, Doc. Bye, Lee. Duck is gonna grow up and be stupid. I'm giving Clementine my food off the rip. Hey, Clem, you need something to eat. I'm gonna give her the apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. <sighs> Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. I can't believe I gave him that. Alright, next up. Kenny. Take the food, bro. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Well, I'm going to give you a boy the food, and that's it. Let's get the kids the food first. Duck, take the food, man. Hey, Duck, how about a little food?
I don't even want to give him the fool no more. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Doug, stop looking at me like that. Here. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I'm going to give it to her. Matter of fact, she's over here. Yo, she over there. Oh, man. Yeah, she's being a doctor right now. You know what? Wow. But her and Doug, her, no, no, no. Her and Kenny probably got food stashed somewhere in that truck. I give your dad some. I give your dad some jerky. Carly, I might get Mark the food since he's been helping me. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. I don't got no more. Give it to the kids and the workers. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kitty, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Why you look at me like that? Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought... I should just left him. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. I know he died. I know I made the wrong decision. What about the other kid? <laughs> what the fuck? I was telling him a fool! Mark, you suck! Mark! I was trying to eat my. I was trying to get a snack. I'm Why'd hungry. you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Oh, now he yelling. Now he, oh, yeah. he, he won't yell again. Us all killed. Now he won't yell again. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten. I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Now we got information! You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! 
Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I don't trust them. They, I think they you don't have, have the upper faces. hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? Oh, We got shit. plenty at the dairy. We gotta make that offer. We gotta, we gotta make that. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. Let's go. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. Wait, I didn't, I didn't mean it. To, I didn't mean for anybody to go. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. I didn't mean for everybody so, to go. This dairy. You I guys didn't really mean. Have food? I don't... Sure do. We lost oh. most of the cattle. Okay, I thought we still have lots of milk, Whoa. butter, and cheese stock. And Wait, everybody coming with me? Grow, we got plenty oh, no, of food. Okay. I, thought, I, thought the, I thought the whole gang was coming. I thought the whole family it's was nice coming. nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily King thing eating. is starting to get ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in the... Hey, wait, did I grow up in Macon? Th I came from Macon. I'm good. I'm good. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? A lot. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. No, well, too much we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit. Damn. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Bandits. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are out. they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. They are. And you guys were keeping it there's all only two. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has Ruthless. gone to shit. Ruthless. Come on, let's get to the dairy. I forgot. Ain't anything can happen. There's no cops. There's nothing. Oh my god! Lay them out. That's O.D.
Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting, hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for me. looking for a group. Butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. No! This. Carly? Carly! Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take oh. care of yourself, Lee. That is the worst group possible. While. That is the worst group. Yo, Ben and Carly is... Mark, Lee, why That's don't you good. take a look around? Once you get settled in, I can no. use some help secure that the is... perimeter. Is there a no. problem? Sometimes that is a downfall get duo. tangled up in the fence before that is the worst duo ever. end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think yeah, it's safe. Mark. Don't but jump to the gun. For the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. 
just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Alright. Still gotta have my guard up. No, I sold yet. Let's go look. Let's go search for Andy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Hmm. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. He said the same thing. Oh, she was talking about the staff, not guests. He's talking about guests. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but... Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead.
Andy said, when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Disgusting. Now oh, we can push it. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. Yo, she's still staying on there. Man, Come on. the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Uh, Chop that hand off. Now nah, she's still leaning on there. Hold on. Chop the motherfucking other hand. You never off. get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Little help here, Bro, Lee? Mark, shut up. Shut up, Mark, shut up. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! You fuck! Jump over the gate! Now we'll take what we want! Lee! Get back here! Blades are stuck in the dirt. I got one of you. Get closer. It ain't right. We had a deal. Bro, what am I supposed to do? Okay. Let's go now. Show yourself. Oh. There we go. There we go. All right, let's go now. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. Oh my gosh. Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Lee. Come on. Another one. Another one. Another one. Come on. Really? Really? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? We didn't push this one. I don't remember getting this one off. 
Oh, he's alive? Oh, get off me, please. Get off me. Get off me. You okay? Yeah. Barry. Come on. The gate's right there. He's still chasing us. He's still, he's still chasing us. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's get out of here. To this gate. Yeah, let's go. Yell at the people. Shit, are, are you okay? Fucking bandits. They have no right being out here. Oh my lord, what happened to you? Cause they, they talking Those about some. I thought you made an agreement. Well, yeah. What's going on? I'll be all right once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey y'all. Mark, oh my oh, god, bro. what happened? He got shot with an arrow. The what? whole family. No, now okay? we're in danger. Yeah. Now we're really in I'm danger. Fine. The whole family came. I should just pull it out. Oh, oh no, my buddy. god. Oh, got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must no, this is what not kind good. of shit is this? this is not good. We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Where's Ben yeah. and Carly? Since yeah. Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Hope you kids Damn. like swings. A swing? I love swings. Just like at my tree house. Yeah, Andy. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? All right, yeah. Andy. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking Good out. Good job, for Andy. You. Good job, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. All right. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. I wish I could run in this game. Like, Lee, you walk too slow, man. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. So we're surrounded by bandits. Let me go talk to them real quick. We're surrounded by bandits. We got the kids with us. I wonder if it, I wonder like when I had a decision to bring the whole family with me or the whole crew. I wonder if that affected what happened just now. Because I didn't want that to happen. I only wanted me and uh, Mark to come on this trip and then go back. But now everybody's here. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? That'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Uh, 
<sighs> How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. What's good? With, like, what is... Like, <laughs> what does he have going on, bro? What is, like... What is he doing? Bro, something wrong with him. Something's wrong with him. Something is wrong with him. He looked like the fucking Undertaker. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? No. I don't know, Lovey. Both you and Kenny have been very important in keeping the group together. Yeah, well, if I don't keep us alive, there won't be a group to keep together. I'm not taking sides. I'm not gonna make me take sides. Right? I'm not taking sides here, man. Yeah, I'm not talk I'm not talking to duck. Fellas. Bro. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out they there. They don't look should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? I don't know if it's good to start a war right now, bro. We're gonna go to their camp and something bad something bad gonna happen. But if we don't fight back, we do gotta fight back though, I'm not gonna lie. Because they've been getting bullied. And Mark just got shot with an arrow. And my family over here. And I'm Lee. Nar. Anybody gonna be to stop me? No, we going. They already started. No, they they shoot. They they already shot somebody with an arrow. We yeah. going. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's go. Let's do it. I'll Let's stay go. here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Yeah, let's go. We get it. No, Clementine. I didn't talk to Clementine. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Spaghetti. Eat spaghetti. They got the spaghetti. We gotta get them. Oh shit! You found it. Don't shoot, Lee. Don't don't do nothing stupid. Okay. I 
Let's go see what we up against. You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm going to check out the tent. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Take a look around. I didn't anyway. think. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be way bigger than this. Stole from us. Remember, not here to kill anybody. We're here to see what's going on. Nothing. Empty. Yeah, nothing here. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Just water. Looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful. Why? Yo, he sound kind of off. He I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. What's going on this dude, bro? Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Something iffy about dude, yo. What's going on? Like, is, uh... Hmm. That's a pretty strange. Like they were moving a lot of stuff. If he do anything, I'm shooting him dead in his head. I'm not gonna lie. As soon as I said the battery is that he was like, it's good. He said good. And he looking at me. What you looking at? Yeah, he hiding something. Something going on. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Something's definitely going on. Yuck. I don't need that. Clementine's oh, hat. Don't you fucking move. Shit. What Put the your guns fuck? Down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. 
And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? A little girl. You stole it from her! So what if I did? You stole her from me! What?! What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right whoa, whoa, through wait, your wait, files. Wait, wait, Yeah, right through. Wait, wait, wait. String him up on that You stole her from me? Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh! God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. Wait, wait, hold on. Was that Clementine's mom? Am I tripping? Hold on, wait, 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 wait a minute. What's going on, bro? What the fuck? Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. No, we're not. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Was that Clementine, huh?
Yo, 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 what the f Was that Clementine's mom? It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Oh, I think I'm tripping. Okay, I think I'm. I don't think that was Clementine's mom. That wasn't her mom. That was her mom. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm wilding. I'm wilding. I'm, I'm tripping. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Yeah, that wasn't... That wasn't her mom. I'm wilder. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff, something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? You didn't hide something. What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look. The guy with Katya. What's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Yeah, why the f*** you saying that? Well, you're, you know... You're urban? Urban?
not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. Because I'm black, I know how to what? pick a lot, See Kenny. Those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace mm. it all again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Figure out what's inside of that door. Hi. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. You know, way Lily Dad get her, man. Lily Dad bagging her up, bro. Not turn the power switch off on the generator. Let's go take the toolbox. Get something from the toolbox. We need the multi multi tool right here. Multi tool. That should be handy. Get that. Get I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. You want to distract him. There has to be another way we can distract him. Um, other than turning that generator off. If we turn the generator off, everybody's in danger. So we gotta find a different way to distract this dude. Rather than putting everybody in danger, it's gotta be another way somehow. Like, gotta be another way. today my girl here you really like that guy what's not to like not much I guess exactly I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Damn! 
Damn, this thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Well, that was easy. I didn't think that was going to be that complicated. I thought it was going to be complicated. Let's go back in here. Let's unscrew what we got to unscrew. She was behind that barn. I really hope that wasn't Clementine's mom. Or she wasn't related to Clementine. Most likely she wasn't because she says she stole the hat. The, only, the, the reason why I was like, dang, is that Clement? Oh, he went to go turn it back on, which is crazy. Okay, so. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. He right back, Doc. Should have said that in the beginning. Now I got Den yo. Denny is suspicious. He's suspicious right now. He's suspicious right now because of me. All right. Okay. Let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. So that didn't work. How do you like that? That didn't work at all. That did not She's work at all. Idiot. God damn. All right. We got to have another. There's another plan. Another plan. Dunk, what have you I got? anything? No, not really. Mm, it smells funny in here. Like shit, right, Lee? Yo, Clementine, watch your mouth. Hey, don't use swear words, okay? That okay. <laughs> Yo, that was funny though, Clementine. That was funny. You're not in trouble. You're not. You're not in trouble. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. What's going on back here? I gotta turn off, I have to turn off another generator. Let's go outside. Let's go talk to Lily real quick and go check on Lily. See how she doing. See, I'm a leader. You know, I'm a leader. I'm a good leader. I'm not trying to have everybody, everybody over here fighting or whatnot. I'm trying to get everybody What's to be. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. It's been three you months. should just get our food and go. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. 
That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I get that. I get that. But I still need to punch him in his face. Alright? I still need to punch him in his face. I ain't gonna lie. I still need to get my get back. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. She do got a point, though. We should get our food and leave. But where are we gonna go? We can go back to the motel, actually. Cause right now we're standing in a barn. So if they got something going on fishing in here, then we can, you know, we can, we can leave it to them and just leave. Let let them be weird, but we can leave and go somewhere else without starting any problems. I'd rather like not deal with them anymore. Getting food and we getting out of here. We'll uh we'll finish talking later. What if they eating people? You've been getting along with Larry. <laughs> he just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. They eat people. They eat people. They eat people. They def they're, they're trying to eat Mark and they're trying to feed Mark to us. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Why did you make a deal with those people? We got a threat of humanity left, Lee. We can do more good without them in our hair by placating them. So that's what we do. I think I'll go have a look around. Kind of peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Why won't she let me go see my why won't she let me go see Mark? No mail coming in or out these days. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. Nah, bro. Something's going. Something's going on here. Let me go talk to Lily's dad. They're eating people. Cause how are they? How are they feeding the bandits? They're eating people. They got one cow in there, bro. So, Larry, it uh, looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pace, how about you try and mind in your own fucking business? Lee has a lot of restraint. I mean, I have, a, well, yeah, Lee has a lot of restraint. If there was an option to slap him, I would have slapped Lee. I ain't getting on my nerves. Let's turn this off again. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something. No, I, I gotta go check because it's weird. They, about this, stuff. this is mad weird. They're about, they're about to feed us our friend. Let's turn this off again. Let's turn this off one more time. 
Access, man. So nobody sees me doing this. There you go. Nobody sees me doing this. Let's turn it off. Um. Moving fast. Why did I do that? I don't even know why I did that. Why, why did I even? Ow, damn it. Thing is moving, moving fast. fast. All right, let's turn it off first. Turn it off first. There, that should do it. Did I close it? There we go. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece? Thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. All right, let's go. Let's hurry up before the zombies come. Get out of here. Let's go in the barn. Let's see what the hell going on. Because we know damn well they're feeding us humans. We're, they're cannibals. They're cannibals. We can't trust them. They're cannibals, man. That's, 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 that's what they are. They're cannibals. That's my guess. They're eating people. That's what's going on right now. Let's go, mystery gang. Let's get it. And it smells like poop. Dinner's ready. Mom, Dad, dinner time. It's dinner time. Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad, Dad, come on. Let's eat. Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Mm, screws holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Screws Bro, I don't. The door. Listen, I don't. Yo, I give me the option to screw it. Screw it. Damn. I don't, I don't. Stop these cutscenes, Kenny. you got in that back room look we have food here but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed when we catch something in the woods we skin it and dress it back there mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house so you see nothing to worry about You wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this Where's is Mark? a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathrooms right outside in the hall, and be sure to get under you. They eat people. They eat people. The they're they they chop mark up, bro. They chop mark up. They chop mark up. They chop mark. I don't I don't believe nothing. Yeah, that's it's over. They they and they ate the husband. They ate the that's husband. To be Terry. Yeah, it's over. They're cannibals. Let's see what yeah, they're looking at. College degree. These boys aren't stupid. They're not stupid. They're High not school diploma. This dairy must have meant a lot to them before the walkers destroyed everything. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're, they're cannibals, bro. On the fact, he didn't go down the hallway. What are you doing? 
Yeah, they're eight people. Most definitely eight people. What is this? Uh, could Shaver use cream? a shave. Shaver cream? Some kind of lotion. Lotion. Gauze pads. Gauze pads. What else we got in here? There's nothing in there. Let's close that. In fact, I'm not even about the ghost. Let's go find Mark. I hate steps. I hate steps. I hate steps. I hate, I hate creaking ass steps. I hate when steps creak and you try to sneak around. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go find Mark. He's in here. He's not here. Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. Blood. Is that blood? Uh, farm books, cookbooks. Nothing out of the ordinary here. So, so they can't hear me walking around upstairs. Hmm. Let's open this door. The hell is they it? need so much morphine. For morphine, because oh my gosh! That's smart. Musty as hell. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Huh, where is that cord going? What the hell? Yeah, I, like, I... They don't hear all this going on. They don't hear all this downstairs. They don't hear all this commotion upstairs. I'm pretty sure somebody would have heard that stormed upstairs and asked me, yo, everything okay up there? Or they just would have went up there and just like, got to me by now. Mark is dead. made you a meal yeah Lee what's gotten into you he just had a start he could use some goddamn manners you're eating no I didn't I didn't get a chance to pick I didn't get a chance to pick bro They're, oh my god Human meat that's crazy what the no hell I'm uh, scaring the kids Lee Lee what the hell is wrong with you don't indulge him Lily it's always something with this guy Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? We need to get the kids, everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We got to think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how it's I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. 
Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! Get your anywhere. gun! Get your gun! Get your gun! Get your gun, Kenny! We got lots of I should've got I right should have got the freaking knife! What the fuck? The fucking black! Put your fuck? guns down! We're walking you out of go here! Near my Mommy, fucking family. I don't wanna die! Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone! Everything will be okay! Lee? Lee? Hey! Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Say, grab the knife. I will knock the Lee, goddamn Adam, door down. Stop. It, it was a person. I ate meat from a person. Does that mean I'm gonna turn into? No, no Clem. It, it, it doesn't work like that. If he would have stopped us in time. Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? Hey. They didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! Hmm. Please settle... Oh. I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, uh, Easy! Uh, oh, God. Dad? Heart attack. Now, guess what? He's dead. He's about to turn into a damn zombie, bro. Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! If he's dead... He's not dead! What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! Good morning later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God what if he's not dead? What if, what if he's not dead? He's not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kitty, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Yo. No, no, too much is going on right now. I didn't get enough time to stop Clementine from eating a human. She ate a human leg. I, I, did, I didn't even know what to do, bro. I didn't even, did I, did I told Kenny to get his gun. I told Kenny to get his gun. Why I told Kenny to get his gun? I, I should have told Lily to take her knife out. I think I get mad at me right now, but calm down. Calm down. There's only, they go, they're only giving me five seconds to answer. Five seconds, bro. That's not enough time, man.
I know in real life, you know, I got to make split decisions and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But in real life, I'm not about to tell somebody to take that knife off. I'm not about to tell somebody to go get their gun. The people around me going to have to do that. They're going to have to act. I can't be in control of what everybody do. I did. I said, no, but I did. I should have said, I should have told everybody not to eat the food, man. I should have told everybody not to eat the food, bro. It's a scroll wheel. It's a scroll wheel. I'm telling you, it's a scroll wheel. I'll try to get down to the answer, but it won't let me do it. Ah, no, this is, no, this is crazy. I, I'm going to at least try to help. I'm going to try to help. Lee, is he breathing at all? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's going to turn. What? You're putting all of us at risk, you son Three. of a bitch. You're full of worthless, Lee. Fire! No! <laughs> Kenny, I'm sorry. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> Are you okay? Is it over? Not yet. We still have to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Some place safe where no monsters can get you. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. I'm sorry. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> Don't even look at me. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. -uh. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. It's not coming off that way. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. You're, you're useless. You are useless. Useless. This is that. No, I'm, I'm asking. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, 
coin or something? No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. idea which pocket he keeps his change in? A ring. My mother's. Don't worry. I'm not taking it. Here we go. Two quarters. And a dime. and get this unit off. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. We don't know where it leads. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. I can find out. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know. I just want to go home. This will help us get back home. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Well, he was right about that. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was with him on that. But that decision was crazy. That decision right there alone was just I mean, He was alive. He could have survived that. But it's too. It's too late now. wrong with these people? Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clint time through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. What the hell 
do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. The bar. Oh shit! Just guarding the place like you said. Just sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. I think it's one to keep. Not to kill. I'm gonna meet on the trail. <laughs> oh, I know, neighbor. This is hey, my favorite focus. part. Where's too. Danny? When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. What's he doing? Bro, I hate the controls on her. I'll try to grab the gun. I'll try to grab the gun, man. Bro, Kitty, help! Oh, oh, Lily! Oh, Lily! You stood there like a bitch. Don't look at me like that. No! Ah, you see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. That's why you killed that woman in the woods. She was about to spill everything. You weren't ready to hear yet, Lee. Had to stop her. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fucking coward. This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you. Wait, I, I wanted to scare him. Well, I want to. I want to still kill him. Go. I'll cover you. Just stay here and keep Clementine safe. I'll be right back.
Oh, I don't want to kill him because Clementine is watching me. I can't do it right now. Carly over here, man. No. Shh. Is everyone okay? You guys have been gone way too long. We need your help. Yeah, when you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kitty. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. I knew something was fishy, but... Oh, shit. I knew something was fishy. Oh, I couldn't judge him all the way, especially how the dude was looking when, the, when he said, the camera died. He said, good? When I said the camera died, he said, good, I was like. Right, let, me be, let me be quiet. Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Yeah, it's me. I try to lie. Why? Why did I try to lie? Please get back! Don't come in here. You just had to go snooping around, didn't you? Let her go, Brenda. She about to die, Brenda. No, uh, Brenda, don't do it. Please, please, don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us. I died? What am I supposed to do? Go, Brenda. Please, please don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Obviously smart, huh? How did it come to this? Just stop! Brenda, please. I don't want to kill you, Lee! I'm gonna shoot her right to Mark. This, this dairy was your pride. Look what you've done to it. Stop! Stop me! Come on, Mark. Get her, Mark. Get her, Mark.
Andy! Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done! You brought this on yourself. No, uh-uh, you did this! All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Get up, Lee, get up! Get up, Lee, get up! Come on, Lee, get your ass up. He ain't about to put me on that damn line. I know that's not what he wants. He want what he's trying to do. I'm done. I made it. I can't. I can't. Lily! Ah. Yo, they made me hit that cue button so much! Oh yeah. Where I wanna hit you at? Look. I took him on. No, I'm not back on top. <laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dana Mama get out here, you, you all fucked! <laughs> They're not coming! What do you mean? What the fuck did you mean? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! I want to kill him so bad. I gotta get rid of him. Cause they're still alive. They're still, we, we ain't kill the other dude. I'm gonna kill him. I'm shooting him. I'm shooting them. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't think I'm gonna do it, bro. I'm not gonna do it. His mother already gone. He's he's defeated. Like he's probably gonna end up dying anyway. That's gone. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Get back here and fight me like a man, nope. Lee. Lee. That's what it is. Let's go. Yep, knew it. I knew it. He's gonna die either way.
Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really... I'm glad I said Carly. People? For food? Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... Ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Katja managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You murdered Larry. Fuck you, man. You're alive because of me. Why didn't you have my back? I saved your wife and kid. No, I saved them. By making sure Larry didn't kill us. I couldn't do it, Ken. Well, maybe we should stay out of each other's way for a while. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? We didn't kill them, so I don't know. They might have been able to get away from the walkers, but I'm sure they won't be coming after us. That's good. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God, not more strangers. Hello? This car about to blow up. Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We gotta eat this food. I'm not gonna lie. We starving. I mean, yeah, we gotta eat it. We gotta take this. I ain't gonna lie, man. We, we've been starving. It's like, <laughs> we have to eat this food. We have to eat this food. We ain't had nothing to eat at that spot. It's been days, so. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. 
We got to Clementine. It's locked. No shit, I already tried that. Yo, but give me, yo, 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 yo. Cut the front. attitude, bro. Shut up. Supplies? I'll take it. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. More food in here. <laughs> Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I guess so. Damn. Hey. There yeah. are some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. You're probably gonna. Here, I'm you a thief can have some now. too. I feel bad. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? We gotta eat, though. We gotta eat, you man. Down, are you? Can't be star out here starving. Oh God, Lee, you're gonna want to see this. Oh shit. Well, I'm glad we got that then. I'm glad I'm glad we were in this stuff. Come time gonna have to be mad at me for a little bit, but she gotta understand we have to eat unless we're gonna die. That's it right there. She almost made me feel bad. I did feel bad. Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lots. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking rapists. <laughs> rapist monsters. Oh, darling, baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If you're I'll thinking find it, you're I'll safe. You know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who took. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good. Damn. You murdered her dad. I did what I had to and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Oh my gosh! Okay, let's see. Let's see. Before we even look at this, bro, they argue too much. Like, I can't. I can't, bro. And then she over here talking about some, I'm the one keeping this group safe. I'm the one doing it. Yo, stop. Stop. Stop it, man. Stop. We're not going. 
not gonna survive with her like with her with we not gonna survive with that mindset. That right there was season two of Walking Dead. Um That was a roller coaster right there. That was a roller coaster. And what I called out towards the end of the episode really was going. I thought, like, I, I was saying that there was cannibals, but I was also trying to backtrack my statement. I was like, damn, I'm tripping. What if I'm not right? But I stuck with it, and what ended up happening? We were staying with cannibals. I knew it. I knew something was going on. I, I knew I couldn't trust them. Like, if you looked at Danny and Andy's faces, it, something didn't look right about them. They just look odd. Especially, I for, I think Andy. Andy looked like that damn meme face. You know the mad face that you, with the, I think it's like the white and black mad face. It looked just like that. But what really threw me off was when, um... No, they threw me off in the beginning. I'm not going to lie. When I first seen them, they looked suspicious. I was already judging them. But what really threw me off was when we went to that campground and he was just off. Andy was off. No, Danny. Danny was off. And they really sold it was when I, I took the camera out. Well, when I picked up the camera and he was like, is there any battery? Well, no. When I picked the camera up and I was like, there's no battery in it. And he was like, good. I was like, okay, this guy holding, he's, he's hot at something. But, uh, yeah, my assumptions were true. Uh, what I said was true, ended up becoming true at the end. I just really wish I stopped everybody from eating the human leg. Mark's leg. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, and let's clap it up for Carly, man. Let's clap it up for Carly. Now I had, I had my doubts on picking Carly. You know, I because I I saved her. I went back and I saved her instead of uh, I forgot whatever whatever the dude name was. I went back and I saved her, but I had some doubts about her. I'm glad I saved her, cause you know what she she came back and she clutched up. I even doubted her when she went back to the motel. I was like, yo, that's the worst group to go back to the hotel. And what happened? They came back. It came back unscratched, unscathed, and saved my life. Carly is a legend. Carly, get another round of applause, man. Another round of applause. Carly is that. All right. Other than that, yeah, man. Ah, uh, I messed with Carly out there. Out of that group, I messed with Carly. Like, Carly's real. I got to be better with my decision making. Uh. Like, but all in all, we, we got the same group that we went in there with. We did lose Larry and we did lose Mark. Mark is fairly new. I'm not going to lie. He, he was new, but it is what it is, man. I didn't really have no connection to Mark. But RIP that man. RIP that man. And he, and he got his get back. He got his get back. He got, he, he did his thing right there, man. You know, round of applause for Mark. You know what? Yeah, well, he's a he a real soldier, man. He a real soldier. He climbed down the stairs with just his arms. Like, imagine having to do that. You got to climb down the stairs with your arms. It's crazy. You know how much pain you in? He's bleeding out. Mark, you a real... But uh, yeah, man, that's uh, that was Walking Dead season two. Hope y'all enjoyed. Don't know when the next season is coming out. It's your brother Nar. Season two was nice. I'm gonna see y'all. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, yeah.